Hello, welcome to this video on the quotes of Shams Tabriz, the celebrated Sufi mystic and spiritual guide who was the inspiration behind many of Rumi's poems. Shams Tabriz is a revered figure in Islamic spirituality, known for his radical and unconventional teachings that challenged the prevailing norms of his time. Shams al-Din Muhammad is known as Shams e Tabriz and Shams al-Tabriz, which translates to, the son of Tabriz. He was born in Tabriz, Iranian Azerbaijan. He is revered and honored as the poet's spiritual guide in Rumi's poetry, particularly in Dewan e Shams e Tabriz. Shams is claimed to have taught Rumi for 40 days in isolation in Konya before running away for Damascus. The Shams Tabriz's tomb has recently been put forth as a potential UNESCO World Heritage Site. In this video, we will explore some of Shams Tabriz's most famous quotes and delve deeper into the wisdom and insights he shared with his followers. Although intellect can get you to the door, it cannot get you inside the house. There could be one flaw in a person that hides a thousand virtues, or one excellence that hides a thousand flaws. Small conveys a big message. Happiness is like crystal clear water. Beautiful flowers bloom wherever it runs. Everywhere it runs, sorrow is like a dark stream that wilts the blossoms. I am not here for the sake of the world's common people. They are not the reason I am here. I check the pulse of those who serve as God's envoys to the world. The salat can be made up for, but there is no making up for false display or outward worship without presence. Whoever lives as he pleases will not die as he pleases. Nothing kills the soul that commands to evil like seeing the beauty of the heart. A decent guy does not criticize others and does not search for their flaws. A shayik is what? Being. Describe a disciple. Non-existence. A disciple is not considered to be one till his existence ends. Giving alms in secret extinguishes the wrath of the Lord means you are so immersed in sincerity and in preserving that sincerity that you have no pleasure in giving alms. To keep people happy, you must live with them in hypocrisy. The Sufi is the son of the moment. When you oppose the sheikh, you are like the slave who commits suicide over a disagreement with his master. Why are you killing yourself over a quarrel? He says, therefore, my master will suffer loss. Fire is the companion of the people of this earth. If 
the fire is not going to burn. You. There must be an Abraham. The phrase, Allahu Akbar, denotes that God is greater than anything you can ever imagine. It implies to get closer so that you may glimpse excellence, not to stop there. To find, you must seek. In a sense, blessing is excess, an abundance of everything. Say I want more instead of being satisfied with being a faqi. I want more than being a Sufi, more than being a mystic, and more than anything that has come before me. Those self-sacrificing people who yearn for death, seeking it out in the same way as poets seek poetry, the sick seek healing, prisoners their freedom, and kids Fridays. If you are faithful and upright, want death. As the virtuous and loyal among men, the righteous and faithful among women also seek for death. God's blessings and congrats to you if you have the clarity and fervor to seek death. Please remember us in your prayers. And if you lack this light and enthusiasm, work hard to find it because the Quran promises that if you look for it, you will find it. Then seek. Thank you for watching and for your interest in the fascinating and rich tradition of Sufism. We hope that our videos have sparked your curiosity and that you will continue to seek out knowledge and understanding about Sufism and its teachings. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new upload. Have a nice day. Thank you.